We're looking forward to playing the uh, Houston Texans this year, this week down in Houston. You know, it'll be our first time uh, on the road, obviously, dealing with crowd noise and all the things that go into uh, playing offensive football on the road. So uh, we've had, you know, really good week of practice thus far and look to continue that trend today. We've got a big practice coming up later. Uh, we got a meeting ahead, you know, meeting before then. But uh, guys are working real hard and, uh, you know, it's uh, getting closer to the season. So, uh, you know, we got most of our offensive schemes in and whatnot. And uh, now we're trying to get things refined and uh, get ready for this Houston Texans game. Any questions? We made strides in the red zone. There's no question. Um, you know, when, when you practice against your defense, uh, you know, and our defense is, uh, there's none finer, really. Uh, you know, we're going to run, we're going to install things that not necessarily apply to our defense, so, and work our way through them. You know, if we might not run those plays against them if we were playing them in a game, but we need to uh, install our core you know, red zone package, which may or may not be applicable to what our defense does. There's a lot of very distinct styles in red zone defense. When you look at red zone defense, I think you'll find that uh, most defenses are uh, as unique as, as they will be in that area of the field. Every team has a personality in the red zone um, that's very specific, and, you know, that's something we'll try to focus in on week to week. But... Uh, I would definitely give our defense the upper hand early on. And uh, we're battling back, though. It's, uh, it's a great test for us to play them in the red zone. They were pretty highly ranked last year, as I remember. But, uh, you know, it's a work in progress. Guys are working hard at it. Coaches are working hard at it. Does your offense have a personality in the red Well, that's a good question. Our personality in the red zone, I would have to – I'd have to take uh, myself and put myself in another team's shoes and look at our our uh, um, personality, and I hope that they won't be able to uh, find any fingerprints there. But uh, as far as us, we're looking for production, and uh, we want that to uh, come in a lot of different ways. We're not looking for uh, one specific person or one specific thing, and uh, we're going to be multiple down there. And uh, however people want to label that and put the label on that can they can uh, but ultimately we're looking for uh, the type of production that helps us win not necessarily not necessarily um, uh, I wouldn't I'd say no challenge him you know it's not so much not really never really thought of it in those terms really thought think of it more in terms of develop him developing and uh getting another year in our system and uh just uh through experience coaching uh reps you know film study all those different things physical health uh just you know allowing him to de to develop as a player and uh you know i think we're seeing that in this camp. Um, Mike's having a really good camp. He's really dialed into what we're doing. And, uh, you know, he had that li little issue he was working through. So uh, it's great to have him back out there. I would, I would say so, and I would hope so. Uh, you know, he was playing last year on a bad wheel and uh, battled his way through it. You know, I think he's much healthier this year. He certainly appears to be a lot quicker and faster. And, uh, you know, another year under his belt from an experience standpoint is uh, very important. You know, that's, uh, that's coach's decision. And I, I think... Uh, you know, those decisions will stay behind closed doors, but uh, Mike's, Mike's one of our starters. What excites you about having him? Part, part of it. What makes it so important to the so that, you know, he is one of those key guys there, even though you brought in Randy, you brought in Mario. Mm -hmm. He still kind of has that number one 
experience? Yeah, I, you know, I, I mean, just to be on, being honest with you, we really don't look at it as a number one, number two. I'll, I'll go as far to say as whoever's name is on the list as having started the game accounts for nothing. It means nothing. Anybody that plays in the game is a starter as far as I'm concerned because they have a role and, uh, to, you know, towards us winning. So the number one, number two, starter, non-starter, if a guy's playing, that's all that matters to me. Very important, very important. And his, you know, Mike's continued development is very important, as is every other player. What excites you about having Mike Kratzinger? Oh, a lot of things. You know, Mike's a very sure-handed guy. Uh, he's got really good size, extreme, uh, extremely good runner after the catch. And, uh, you know, I think he's a really good all-around player. And... Uh, when we needed some big plays last year, he sure stepped up. I th the one in Seattle really comes to mind, up on the boundary on the left side, got us in a field goal position when he just beat that corner and went up and out-competed him for the ball. Um, he's a good football player. Bring, the more the merrier. Bring him on. In practice? We had a good day of practice yesterday all around. Uh, we were working on some things that we had, hadn't worked on in a little while, and uh, it was good to see the recall that the guys had. But uh, running backs uh, did a great job running the ball. Uh, Alex was on fire yesterday in practice, and uh, you know just had one of those days where he was just on the, you know, on the mark, uh, deep, short, intermediate. You know, receivers caught the ball well. I thought the guys were running really well, the receivers. Uh, Vernon continues to have a, a great training camp, uh, just becoming a uh, very, very well-rounded, very well-rounded tight end. Uh, can't, can't say enough about Vernon Davis. I mean, when you think about it, the last game we played was against the, was against the Giants, and unfortunately we didn't win that one. You know, on the first play of the game, Vernon Davis uh, blocked their nose guard, and then on the fourth or fifth play, I can't remember, he ran by their corner for a 70-some yard touchdown. Not a lot of people can do that. And he's a unique player who is uh, really dialing in on the details of things. And uh, he has since the beginning of OTAs and uh, really excited about it. Um, you know, I think Vernon, Vernon is uh, really, really com coming into his own as a player. I think I think that's ex that's an accurate statement. Uh, there's a lot swirling through his mind right now. He's trying to do everything perfectly, and uh, you know, in that process, uh, there's going to be some, you know, a drop here, a drop there. I've seen it with a lot of players over the years, where they just work through that and they start relaxing and playing, as opposed to thinking and playing. And uh, you know, AJ's doing a really good job all around. We'd like to see him catch every football. There's no question. And, uh, you know, I think you will see more of that as we go, you know. Um, I, I mean, I think there's a process guys go through where there's just so much coming at them mentally, physically, emotionally, just, change, you know, the change of scenery, uh, the change of the level of competition. And... You're trying to learn everything, and then when you think you got that, here comes a whole other boatload of information, new plays, new formations, new rules, uh, you know, and then now the soreness sets in, and here comes some more plays, more formations, more this, more that, and you just got to, you have to grind through it and have mental toughness and, uh, you know, lock your jaw and, and, and just continue to push through it. And, you know, then start, you know, you start to play faster, you start to make, Instead of catching, you know, four out of six, now it's five out of six. And then you keep grinding, and it's just that process, you know. And, uh, you know, I, I, that's what, I think that's what AJ's going through. When your first team offense takes the scouting defense in practice, do you expect uh, every play to be success, every pass to be completed? You know, uh, we're, when we run against our twos, I think there's um, – certainly a level of expectation that you would do better 
than you would against your ones. And uh, but we're more interested in the player by player execution. Um, say you call a route that's designed for cover three, and uh, Vic happens to dis call cover two. You know, well, you want to go through the process. The quarterback's going to go through his read, find out, find where he needs to get get the ball. And, um, you, you know, you might not have a 20-yard uh, completion, but you might have to check it down to your back. So uh, every play is an entity unto itself. And, uh, you know, some plays are designed for certain coverages. Some plays are great catch-all plays that are good against no matter what they do, we have an answer. You know, a hard play action pass with two receivers running deep crossing routes, well, hey, they're in cover two. Not so good. But we got we to gotta practice it, you know. So... I think uh, as you install, teach, and uh, get your system in, you know, you're, we're, we're really not concerned about what our defense is doing so much as coaching our players what to do when this happens. Well, okay, now this happens, and then this happens. So uh, it's more about how the players respond to that and, and learn than it is the uh, uh, immediate gratification of having a good play at that moment. Uh, Mike's working hard. He's doing a good job. He's playing tackle and guards, getting reps at both. And uh, he just continues to develop. He's a young guy that uh, had his first off season of uh, physical development, which is so important for alignment, especially. Um, so, you know, he's coming along well. And uh, expect really good things from Mike the rest of this preseason. Um, you know, he's had, this is his second year in it, so he's no stranger to our system. He's not learning so much now what to do, it's how to do it. And, uh, you know, it's a process with those linemen as it is every other position. But a lot, there's a lot of a lot little details that happen there. And, uh, you know, fortunately we got uh, one of the best in the business in Mike Solari and Tim Drevno working with the line do a great job. And uh, they spent a lot of time with all of them. But, uh, you know, Mike's getting a lot of one-on-one -on -one work. So expect good things out of him. And, you know, it's a highly comp – highly competitive on the whole line you know these next couple games are going to really speak a lot about what each player represents and where they're at I mean define thin for me uh, you know you'd love to have a bunch in the stable but right now Alex Boone is is uh, right now as of right now winning the right guard job so you know we'll be ready to adjust if need be Well, I think both. I think he's doing both. He's doing good. He's doing really well. And I uh, thought he played, had a pretty darn good game the other night. Um, you know, while they're here, they are competing to get a, get a spot. And Netter's a heady guy, takes coaching well. And uh, but he's you know he's a young guy, and uh, he's a guy that we'd certainly like uh, like to develop. Yeah, and, 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 you know, that's a credit to our scouting staff and, and Tom Rathman, our running backs coach. You know, there's a lot of times last year where we had our backfield con was Bruce Miller, a defensive end, and Kendall Hunter, who was a, uh, a spread running back, you know, in the spread system at Oklahoma State. So, you know, that's a credit to Tom and his diligence as a coach, um, as it is those young men. Um, Bruce is uh, one of the guys – with his story playing defensive end and then coming into our system and playing fullback, it's uh, s somewhat remarkable. I don't want to give Bruce too much public credit, but uh, he does a wonderful job. And, uh, you know, he's getting better. He's developing uh, all the time. He's a sponge. Uh, if you tell him something and teach him something, he gets it. And, uh, you know, he's done a great job. And, yeah, that, that transition is something that, uh, that he was able to do last year was, was – uh, Pretty unique, pretty unique. But he's doing well. Bruce doing a good job.
Yeah, Boone, Boone, Boone had a good game the other night. I uh, really like how he's adapting to the guard position. Things happen faster at guard than it does tackle. And uh, a lot of things can change in a hurry in there at guard. Uh, there's a lot of uh, action. Leverage is a premium, being able to play low. And, uh, you know, Alex has uh, really improved, really, you know, week to week. He's gotten better. Thought he had a really good showing in the first preseason game. Was very pleased with that. And uh, we'll take it from here. But uh, thus far, he's doing, 